someone that's charged with a criminal offence, I admitted to that offence, and as a direct result of that, that person is in the The question I want to ask you, sir, is, you know, what is your own opinion on the fact that someone comes here to preach and someone else wants to come to kill him? Well, obviously, you know my answer on that. It's the answer, no, I don't know what it's the answer that would say. This is a place to preach. It's a place for that. Why someone wants to kill him, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, um, it's against everything that we know about freedom of speech. But, but we've all Miss Hatoon. I've tried to contact her using various methods. You can't contact her. And I've had a response from her. I only hope it was from her. I and when will you, when will we be seeing your business? You're not very well known then. I don't live here at all. <laughs> I come through. I'm on the way to somewhere else. No, I know. I'm just here today uh, because we're, we're having a conference here. We're getting different guys up on the ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And are I you you're waiting for you, but to take yeah. us somewhere at 7 o'clock. Okay. What, uh, okay, okay, quickly, me... what's your question? Okay, my question, my question to you is, yeah. dude, can you film us? I'm going to ask him a reasonable question. My question to you is, I hear that you've been putting forward a lot of evidence that the Quran isn't literal and it's been, there are different versions of the Quran. Yes? Yeah. I hear that. Okay. My question is, assuming that's true and there were different versions and a lot of Muslims will object to that, to me that's not a big problem. Could you then say that there is, would you concede that there is still ethical and teleological merit in the Quran? Even if it's not all literally accurate. Can you give me some examples of where you would say there is good merit in the Quran? For instance, what? I think probably in Surah 2177, it says a lot of ethically very sound things about how you should treat other people compassionately and charitably and have humility. So within the Quran, you will find verses which seem to mirror Christian themes. I'm not about, saying nine five. I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm not okay, in You're picking and choosing which one you like. I know, you asked me for an example, so okay. I picked because you asked me to, so I picked. I'm not in denial of the fact that there are problematic elements okay, in so the Quran. So you're aware of that, all right. Okay, I'm totally aware of that. I also consider there are problematic areas in the Bible and I could show you a list of them, but we don't need to go there now. Okay, fine. Now, for me as a universalist, this is not a huge problem because I expect human beings to get some stuff wrong, even if they're divinely inspired. Do you think, though, that many of the actions the problems that we're seeing that Islam is doing, like with ISIS and Boko Haram and Al Shabaab and Al Qaeda, do you not think that there's a reason they're doing those things? Do you not think that there's some type of authority I think a that motivates them? I think there's a correlation between the two, okay. and I'm so against is, extremists is on that all not, sides. Is that not a reason that, that maybe we should confront this book? I think, hang on, I think you should confront extremism, whether it occurs in any given religion. If extremism is. I don't think extremism is necessarily an implicit part of. Um, Islam, the of, the, yeah. of the Quran and Islam. It's straight They're, through it. I, that would be your interpretation of it. It's just I think genuinely. Okay, give me a peaceful verse. Show me one so peaceful I verse. Go, I, do I really have to pull out the Quran? Chapter 2, 117, you said. I, I think I said 117. We found it, I think. It's actually chapter 2, 90. If they attack you, defend yourself oh, okay, and don't go do beyond really, the limits. Okay, okay, do I really have to do this? I don't normally do much of it. I'm trying to bring religions together. I'm trying to show that religions, including Christianity, sure. thank you, have got good qualities. I think the Sermon on the Mount is fantastic. Yeah. I just think a lot of religions have got more in common than they appreciate. Yeah. And to overstate their differences and create too much division is unethical, impractical, and also not Christian. I don't think it's Christian. Go. Off you go. Yeah, you've got to get the fight. Don't, don't get a discussion, mate. Have a fight. Go and form that. That's brilliant. They love that. They're right. They love that. It's, I, 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 listen, I, I understand because you're a universalist. You want to get all of us to get along. In so far as it's possible. That, and, and we are. And there's no reason that we should not get along. Because look at it. How else could you have a speaker's That's corner? That's the guy who's really getting along. Okay, okay, well, that, but it. could I, you have a speaker's I think corner? I think I mark this as being something I thought. Righteousness is not that you turn your face towards the east or the west. Righteousness is the one who believes in our blah, 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 blah. There you go. Hang on, hang on, So hang on, even hang on, right there, that shuts no, wait, 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 me down. Look, wait, wait. I, I'm, Sorry, I can understand why it would. Hang on, hang on, hang on. To relative so what is it? The angels, the book, and the prophets give wealth in spite of love for it. To relatives and orphans and the needy and the traveler who ask for help. For those who accept this Allah, but I don't. Okay. But, so that's not but for the me. general merit of Okay, help. but you're not exegeting it correctly. Hang on, hang on. Exegete it correctly. Okay. One you need to exegete it, what the verse okay. is actually saying. I do take your point. Nonetheless, insofar as they are advocating within that context they, a spirit who, of charity. But for who? For those who accept Allah. The first part of the verse. Yeah, he's right, it's he's it's right, just he's like right. if you it's like chapter five, verse thirty-two, which I thought you should have gone to. Chapter go to chapter five, verse thirty-two. 
Because that's a better I verse you should have gone I to. I haven't been that far. I've only read the first three stories, okay? Okay, okay. 532. Okay. There this is the there, Obama. Okay. All this I'm saying, okay, my general me, statement... Listen, you've been, you've been talking some... on. Now let me respond. Okay, okay. In chapter 5, verse 32, which is the one that Muslims love the most, yeah. it says, O children of Israel, he who commits, who he who takes the blood of one is if he takes the blood of all. He who saves the blood of one is if he saves the blood of all. Mm. That sounds pretty peaceful to me. And that's about as good as you're going to get in the Quran. The problem is the very first part of the verse, which you also didn't want to talk about in this verse. No, I'm not talking your, your point. The very first part of the verse. The very first part of the verse is "O children of Israel." So that's not really for you and me, okay, unless I, we're Jews. Okay. So you need to go to the next verse, which this says. And he who does not accept Allah or his prophet, yeah. crucify them and cut off their hands and feet from opposite ends. Okay, because that's, I, okay, that's I, the one you should have gone to because that's the one that supports can I and shepherd, shuts down verse 32. Okay. Can I respond? Because I'm an honest debater. I picked a bit that I thought exemplified some good ethics within the Quran. You countered that if I read the context at the beginning, Look at the I was taking it out of context. I can see that objectively you have a point. I don't think that shuts up my, my overall theory and impression from reading this book and from meeting a lot of Muslims that they can be highly ethical and diligent Absolutely. and polite. Muslims are and great. I think they get that from their it's five pillars. the Muslims from the, I have a problem with that. Okay, from the five pillars. It seems to me that the five pillars do instill good ethics and good living in no, no one questions that. Okay, good. Thank no you very much. That. So It's least, the book that does the problem. Okay, but, but that from the very beginning. Okay, fine. But insofar as the five pillars have arisen out of that culture... No, they have. The five pillars aren't there. I Show know, me I five know. prayers. I know. I believe Show me the shahada. I know. I know. I believe Show me the shahada. Show me five prayers. I said they evolved out of it, yeah? So as a result, there is a direct correlation. But isn't it great that... that there is a direct correlation isn't between... Isn't it? We go to our book and we find everything we need there. The very five pillars that you're saying defines Islam, you can't even find in the Quran. I never so claimed, I never claimed I could. The Hadith. I believe that in the Hadith. You said they derived. Wrong. When were the Hadith written? Sorry. Chronologically. When were the Hadith now, written? Hang on, wait. Now cut me in some slack, okay? Be honest with me, okay? I'm being you honest, are not naive. Because you're saying these you are, are in the Hadith. You are not, I'm just asking, okay, when were they written? You are not naive to the notion that there is a correlation, a connection, a causal connection between this book existing and the five pillars existing. No, they're not in here. I never said they were. That's why I expressed it the way I just did. Okay. There is but a the, causal connection. But you like the five pillars. Yeah, and, yet you they're like, not there. and you like the five pillars. And yet the five pillars that you're talking about don't even come from yes. the 7th century right. or the 8th but century Muslim scholars, or the 9th century. I, I never claimed they did. So what I, century do I they come from? I never claimed they did. What I am claiming is that... For the camera, let me just say, for, okay, they I'm don't begin to appear until the 12th what, century. They, so does that... They may not. That which you like, does that represent the Prophet Muhammad or the Quran? I think it's in the spirit of what the Quran no, 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 was no, no, aiming no. Does that represent the Yes, in the spirit, and the it's Quran. about the spirit. I think the fact the five pillars has... Don't shut it down. The fact you see what I'm asking? I'm not being unreasonable the five here. Of what Muslims do today. He's actually trying to disconnect the practice of the five pillars, which I think is the main thing, practice, not theory, from the existence of the book. Any reasonable person will say there is a connection. There is no connection. There's no connection between prayers. the five pillars and Show the Quran. Show me the Hajj. Show me the Shahab in the Quran. I, I'm not, I never said it was in the Quran. Then how can you say there's a connection? Because if the ethics in this inspires an ethical practice... The ethics in this if inspired so, ISIS and Al-Qaeda and Boko Haram and all these problems that we're having with these so people around the world. We can condemn that aspect of the inspiration if it's That's true. That's in the book but that I, you're that trying I'm to support. A, but I'm applauding the aspect of the inspiration which leads to the five okay. pillars. And you say, you're picking assertion. and choosing what you want That's to applaud, and have yet to. they're not even in the Quran. God requires that we make choices and we'll be judged on them. God I'm bless picking you. and choosing and making choices. You're, you're choosing what you want because you want all religions to say the Whatever. same thing. Yeah. But the, the Quran book... I'm not saying the they're Quran, all saying the same thing. You say, I'm saying you said at the very beginning, I want all the people to say the same thing. I'm just I would love if we would all get together, is what you're saying. But I cannot if you're not going to use this book, because this book does not allow you to make that claim. This book is problematic. No question. Woo, fine. That, that doesn't mean... Finally got him to say it's problematic. No, 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 I've already said it. I'm open. I but think the these Bible... that you like, the hang five on, pillars on, that on, you on, like, hang, are not in that hang book. On, sorry. All, it's not just... All of these books, I think, are problematic, but they contain deep, common denominator, ethical and yet, it's this truth. book that Muslims claim is eternal. It is this book that they yeah, claim... And it's, the Bible, sent down. and it's the Bible you claim is eternal. Claim, we, but no, your, we your we've got never got claimed the Bible is eternal. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't. Sorry, do you not claim that? Okay, does he not claim that? No, no, he doesn't. Is the Bible eternal? Of course not. It's written by men, right? Oh, yeah. Look, men. We know who the men are. Right? Okay, look, you, you do have in your book descriptions like 
kill anyone with a different religion, whoever does not work on Sunday. Now, I'm not saying this to damn the whole book. So you're pulling that, but I love I'm a that. Fan, I'm a fan what of does the book. Jesus, what is Jesus? Jesus just gives a sermon on the mount, which I think is great. Because Jesus he contextualizes Matthew 5, verse 19, he says, I have not come to destroy that the law, law. I have come to fulfill it. Right. And what does he say after that? What are the six things he says after that? He gives an application after application, what he means by that. For you have heard it say, that's this, to kill those who you hate and love those who you are friends. But what does he say in the very next verse? Love your enemies. Agree. That's the Old Testament. That's in 1400 BC. Yeah. We leave that in 1400 BC. Good. And now that's that's why I don't follow that. Good, good, good. Thank you. That's but important. I follow me Jesus. Good. Me too. More so. I like that you make the, I like that you make a clear distinction between the Old and New Testament because a lot of people think the Old Testament has to be carried with the New Testament, but I think a lot of it's dead. The baggage. Old Testament law we leave in 1400 BC. Good. We follow what Jesus says. He good. shows it in fact that we are to leave that there because that was what they were to do in 1400. Thank God I don't follow Moses. Yeah, is, okay, Thank we, God I don't follow Deuteronomy. We McGovern. agree on that in spirit. It does raise some well, interesting... spirit. I agree that as, as my authority. Okay, I would express that as being in spirit. Okay, because then we'll have Now, let's get back to what we'll you said about we'll the Hadith. Have, wait, we'll have a technical and let's difference, go about, however, let's go, is, like, with the, let's go with the, what you said about the Hadith and the Quran. Because the Quran is their, the Quran is their authority for all ages, for all times, for all people. I mean, so everything that's in the Quran is just as relevant today as the day it was written down for all Muslims. What do you... Do you, if that's you, their authority, and you're going to say you like that Quran, and you like what Muslims are doing, yet the very four criteria, that, the five that. criteria that you're looking for that. to support what you like about Muslims doesn't even come from the Quran. Sorry, I didn't say I like what Muslims are doing. You I, like what the five pillars are. I'm saying within the Your philosophy nose still hasn't gone down Islam, within, within the philosophy You like the five pillars. Did you not I say like that? Sorry, I do like the five pillars. And you agree, do you like the five pillars? Oh, okay. Actually, I don't. Oh, so I thought you said you did. You're allowed to change your mind. First of all, the very I, first pillar I don't care for. Which, which There's only one God but God, and his name is Allah. I don't follow okay, that. Fine. And their prophets, prophet Muhammad. That, I've already shut that one down, because okay, I don't care for Muhammad. If we limited that to there is only one God. Well, see, that's important, because that's the, that's the foundation for everything else. Okay. I have to believe in Allah and his prophet, and I don't. Why is that, is that one of the five pillars? It's the first one. It's the assertion of faith. Al-Shahada, the Shalah. You know the Shahada? I'm sorry, I feel like, like I'm maybe an ignorant idiot, but am I missing Laila, five pillars? Muhammad There's only one God but God. God, but God, and Muhammad is his prophet. Okay. That's what every Every Muslim has to believe and say. Right. That's the that's first thing they I have said. to so say. It's the assertion of faith. That's one of the five pillars. It's the protestation. It's the most of important faith. pillar. Oh, good. Okay, so that one I can see you have a problem with. The other four, you okay with? I don't have a difficulty with, but they're not in the Quran. So I have to confront the Quran because that's what I'm Muslims happy use. to confront the Quran in the same way I'm happy to confront the old you and old testament. God bless you. In a constructive uh -huh. manner. Bless, God bless you. I'm glad you finally yeah, yeah. agree on that. On what? That we confront the Quran. I didn't say. Hang on, that I can. But yeah, I can. But I confront all texts. Why shouldn't I? Because, of course. Because of course. You, you I might, use critical thinking to you, make choices. You didn't so God want to confront the Quran about five minutes ago. You want, you want, you want to really confront what the Hadith was no, saying. I, th I think it's problematic, clearly. When it goes, women only get to the, 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 the um, testimony of a woman is worth half of a man. It takes two women you to know one. What that is? I have a problem with that. Obviously, I have a problem with that. Okay. I have a problem with the idea that other religions are fundamentally wrong. I have a problem with the idea of hell. I have a problem with huge numbers of things. But I think if it turns out to be and true... And yet this is their authority, and that's one reason why... But I, Almost I, two billion showing, people have to follow I'm that book. Where I, have problems with the, you, I know you're going to go through that, well, okay, and I'm, I'm sure that you have a lot of problems. But if we the great thing about it is, these, do you have a problem with Jesus? The life of Jesus through the four Gospels, as I understand it, the is Gospel right of Jesus Christ. Do you have a problem okay. with it? I don't take it literally, but I think he's a paragon of virtue. God bless you. That's all I want to hear you say. Is that reasonable? That's reasonable. I, I don't can, happen to believe, agree upon I that. I don't happen to believe he walked on water, but I don't think whether he was a paragon of virtue or not depends on whether he walked on water. I don't think either. But isn't it great? We at least can agree on that. Yeah, we can. But I believe that once I've accepted that that quite possibly Allah did a few good things as well. Sorry, Muhammad did a few good things as well. Did he? Muhammad in and of his time. Yeah. It's the in bad terms, things that I'm having a problem with. I can, but I can, I, can look at both, I can look at both things. When you compare Jesus with Muhammad, are you saying that they're equivalent? I happen, my personal view, and I don't want to alienate Muslims here, my personal this view is, is I, see, Gordon, I, see, I see Jesus as being more of a, the epiphany, a paragon, a moral paragon. So you he never, for, Jesus exa for example, he never killed, yeah, but I wouldn't necessarily see it as a competition the way you would because I think they're both transmitting the same well, it's cause, it's fundamental cause, it's message. It's what Jesus has done for me. And this is good, all good, 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 good. It's if because it was, of the fact that I'm, he has done such a great job. I'm not suggesting you become a Muslim. If Christianity is working for you, good. 
and there's definitely... Well, what you want me to do is don't cut this Islam, is what you're saying. What I'm saying is be open to the idea that other religions contain a spectrum of followers, but like the Sufi. Sufism is very different from like a fundamentalist view, yeah? The Sufis are all closer to the Kabbalists. Now, I like Kabbalism. It's a very, very different way of looking at it. It's very non-dualistic, okay? So you've got to accept that within these religions, there's a spectrum of beliefs. It's not all one thing. And we're getting into levels of debate now. So you want me to become a universalist like you and just say, no, take no, a little no, bit. No, 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 no. Be a good I Christian. Never will. Be a good Christian. I'm better trying than being my best. And if you see that I'm not, be, be then correct me. I think, G I think if Jesus was here, he'd have some sympathy with universalism. He'd at least think their hearts were in the right place. Yeah? I think he'd, he'd, he'd think our hearts were in the right place. We are not angry, brother. Calm down, man. I'm having a nice day. You keep me on smiling. Yes. I well, I've been away, I'm sorry. I'll tell you what, I love what you've been doing. Love it. Well, thank you. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of your stuff. It's great. Would you be able to, would you be able to actually like, like, kind of like, to make some references? Not right now. I've, I've listened to about three other people that are waiting for my time. Chris okay. is also a universalist, incidentally. Well, well. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Can we wrap this up? Because I yeah, really yeah we have, I understand. Thank you for your time. I really do have a lot of people point, waiting. I, I believe it, and you're a busy guy. It was nice to meet and chat. Maybe when you're back next time, What's you can name? do a deep thing, Tony. Tony? Tony. Maybe next time, again, I like to have genuinely constructive chats. I'll be here in October. Let's, let's I think I'm not, let's, it's not that I want to be on camera for ego. I, it's because let's if you, go to if you have a good Let's do this over coffee. Well, the thing is, if you can actually get a good conversation on camera and other people see it happen, it makes okay, things less divisive. Coffee, bring okay. the camera with you. Yeah, it's Is this your cameraman? Yeah, no. I'm the big nose of London. Yeah, you got the big nose of You've heard about me, huh? Nice to meet you. Take care. And you, Tony. But you you're very lenient with... So he was very lenient. Tony. Oh, good. And was it good? Hi, yes, how are you? He was very lenient with you. I'm not lenient, Tony. You're not lenient. Why? No. What am I? Oh, hi. What do you want to know? I'll have you another time anyway. The way you're going about Islam is not correct. What am I doing wrong? He was very lenient. Well, that was Honestly. Good. Who was I was lenient with him or he No, was he was lenient to you. Good. Well then I assume I did something I'll watch right. over there. No. Okay, he didn't want to oh, yeah, break right. your heart. I will break hearts here, you see? I go very hard from people. I, I the fact that he was lenient I take to be a good yeah. sign. Because presumably he believed he realized that I wasn't just there to be conflicting or contrary. Yeah, but in I, a way, I heard that's you, why I was you, were, you were trying to sort of, uh, I don't know, in the absence of Muslim, defend, slightly defend Islam or Quran. Yeah, and I think I, I think I got him to say on record that, and I'm not trying to hold him to this, and he can change his yeah. mind. I got him to say that he could see virtue in the five pillars. Okay, right. Which I consider, from someone in his position. It's a positive statement. He then he then um, adjusted it and went the first of the five pillars he had an issue with because it specifically is Allah. But prior, and I take his point, so that's his caveat. But nonetheless, he said he could see some merit in the five pillars, yeah. and I think he then made out that he he was un oblivious to the connection between the Quran and the five pillars. Right. But I I don't find that convincing, and I don't think most people will. There's a clear connection between the two. So I consider that progress. You've got a guy who is a hardcore Christian, a hard, you know, a committed Christian, who's conceded some virtue in the five pillars. That's but progress. No? Anyway, yeah, I will talk to you, but uh, before I go, or you go, do you really believe in Quran, the word of Allah? No, I believe all of these books. No, my question wasn't you believe all. My question is very straightforward. What? Tony, I told you I'm not going to be lenient. Okay, don't be lenient. Okay. So, do you believe, think, know that Quran is the word of Allah? Two, three, or one, or two, whichever you wish to. Um, do you think? Do you believe? Do you know? Or I don't have. of Allah. Yeah, Quran mean, is the literal, as they say. You know. No, I don't believe it's literal. So what is Quran to you? Um, it may be inspired by Allah and written by man. And maybe inspired by Allah. Well, you framed the question and I answered it. I don't believe God actually writes books. I believe okay. God inspires men and men One write man. books. So you believe in Allah then, yeah? If well, that's your premise. Can we just call it God? 
I mean, no, you're... Allah. We're talking about Allah, what? not God. As a because... separate... Why is Allah not God? Because God is for Christians, you see. I, the word God, I mean the universe. I'm a mon monotheist. And no, the monotheist... Tony, don't change. Don't, I'm not don't, changing. Don't try to be clear. I'm not, I'm not, you, I'm not being... I'm know, not changing. I, I within the Abrahamic tradition... I have been very late watching you for the what, past what few within years. Within the... Yes. Look, you if don't there's tell either, me. either there's one... I believe there is one God. Okay? If there's one God, then all references to God pertain to Okay, you believe that, yes? Based on what? Just as what? I mean, how long have you got? Can we just I've got assume? all the time in the world, Tony. Yeah, I told I, you. But I don't Even I, I'm upset with you because you allowed that pathetic, uh, what's his name? The guy who, uh, who disrespected you. Who? I wasn't there that week, actually. Uh, what's his who? name? I don't know. You know, you were talking to him and he, he kept looking the other way around. Who? Shamsi? Shamsi, that's the one. Oh, there's nothing I could do about it. He ran I'm away. An illiterate man, you're an educator. I haven't seen it, but I remember it happening. And all I know was... I was very upset, not because of... The... Yeah, but it's because... It, it, because I, I gave it, you no. high EQ here. Yeah, because, I don't need that kind no, because, of thing No, because, look, I, if he's got his camera crew, there's nothing I could do apart from physically move on him, and I'm not going to do that, right? So I had him because he, re he realized I had him and that's why he turned and I, I had know, him because right. he said logic. He, I said, so it's illogical. And he went, yes. And what Shamsi does is use philosophy and simultaneously, because that's logic, it's a tool of philosophy, and simultaneously he says philosophy is bad and he can't have it both ways. So that cuts to the heart of why Shamsi is just full of it. Yes. Okay. And most of us know that and Shamsi knows it and that's why he turned. But I should be telling him that, not yet. But he manipulates his camera crews that way anyway. Yes, but as, that's what I'm saying. I'm not lenient with these people. You're still lenient with them. Why was I being lenient? I, put, I did the best I could to show why he was being When I catch him one time, you will see how I would well, make him do, hold it, hold do his top dancing. I try and find common ground as much as possible. Yeah. With these people, you cannot. I've tried very... He's, he wasn't Jason. Okay. What is his name, okay, Jason? That's your conclusion. I've tried and tried and tried. I've reached the point, I think, with Shamsi where... I think... He's just silly. No, okay? he, the guy he, is he's just afraid silly. of you defeating him in front of yeah, the yeah, cameras yeah, 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 yeah. and loses, yeah, lose there, his followers. Yeah, gullible, yeah, naive, yeah, yes, yes. and but stupid. I think he's, most not a seri I, he's not a serious person. I think Shamsi. I don't look. Hang on, this isn't right. Okay, right. I want to have some standards. I don't want to sit here and badmouth Shamsi when Shamsi. All right, what about here. Ali Dawa? Ali Dawa. No, what about, I don't want to bad. No, 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 listen. Yeah. If I want to talk about these people, I should talk about them with them on camera, yeah. where they can defend themselves. Yeah. No, what I'm not like this. Because I'm telling you, trying to um, some kind of credibility to these Muslims or validate their belief here. Well, I don't think I validated Shamsi by pointing out that he was using logic while claiming to deride philosophy. I think to anyone who was watching that, you could see I made a very cogent point, and you could see that he realized it was really cogent, and he yes. turned to someone yes. who got set up so he could avoid the conversation, okay? Yeah, because and I'm happy to do that again and again. And the reason I did that was he gave me a book to read, which is the first time Shamsi's actually come up with any... No. Formal, he's actually come up with some doctrinal ideas, yeah. um, and I read some of it, and it was kindergarten nonsense, so I came back to it, and I was about it? to go, yeah, I have the book here. Is it here? Yeah. Can I borrow it, please? Okay, fine. Thank you. Yeah, afterwards. Um, it was a small book, because it's got a... I'm bad-mouthing, I don't want to bad No, you're not bad-mouthing. No, I am. If he, he, he's genuine, he could come... I was about to, okay? I don't want to do that, okay? No, so I don't want to get tempted into doing that. He gave me a book, I read a bit, it was nonsense, I came back to respond to him having read it. He ducked that conversation and then he tried to make some argument about logic. Yeah. Because he knows you're far more educated than anybody else, most well, of the edu people here. Education is secondary, I think it's about, I think I, I'm certainly more sincere than you. Well, you. In a way, I would say, yeah, but I wouldn't I mean, give a lot, you I mean, a lot of, I'm still bad mouthing him behind you. <laughs> Can we stop? Tony, you... If you want to talk about ideas, let's talk about ideas. What I don't think it's a good idea to do. Is just bitch about people when they're not there. One day we will have a good chat. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to be lenient. Okay. I tell you your ideas. For the minute, let me circulate. I want to see the Tommy Robinson crowd who are here because it's where they? Yeah. Could you unscrew this and give me that book you said, please? Why am I suddenly become kind to me, huh? <laughs> it was just a book on. Thank you. The logic of it's sort of the usual. I would like to read that to see what yeah. in the garden. Well, it's sort of it's kicking around the 
the contingent, alluding to the contingency argument, logical proof of God, that kind of stuff, well, in a really lame way. Well, I can tell you the first premise is not true, therefore, his conclusion yeah, is that. The ball of atheism, materialism, and naturalism. I made some notes in it. If he wants to chat it over, I'm happy to. It's it's a, it's a pretty sad attempt. Leave it to me. Let me study that. There are better arguments. You are better will arguments. see how I catch him out with this book. If you want to. Then. But I need it back before you go. I will give it to you, no problem. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Anyway, um, let me go and because have a this one was live, you see, I'm, I'm live on You're this. You're live yes. okay. So, um, I don't know, you, with, with Jason, was it his name is Jason? Is Who? The man you talked to. I don't know. He's... Alexi recommended him. He's a Christian preacher, and he said, "Go and talk to that guy." So Jason, I think, is it Jason? Alexi, I don't know. I don't know what the guy's name is. Yeah. He, apparently, he's well known. He's yes, something. Uh, Doctor something. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, I forgot what I was going to say. But I'm yeah, you had here. a good chat, actually. I must say, thank yeah. you. Very really educational. But what I was going to say, um, I have it on YouTube. I don't know if you want it or. I, I can put it on YouTube. Yes. Yeah, if you want. Oh, yeah, of course it's good. But uh, because it's the first time live streaming, I don't know how it works, but I'll find out. I think live. Good luck with it. Oh. I mean, I doubt many people are actually watching the live stream at this point. Really? Yeah, they are actually. My, I have at least 23 people here. Really? Yeah. Well, okay. Very educated. Hello to 23 people. Yeah, these are educated people. You know, the, okay. I don't know the, if they're doing any chatting here or. Writing, but, um, okay. Look, pick a topic or to be continued. I'd rather yeah. debate or discuss with somebody else. Yeah, you carry on. Um, but, uh, but because there's Tommy Robinson people here today, and that's rare, they, I think, are the more interesting people to talk to. The only reason I went to him was because Alexi recommended him. Okay. So now I'd like to talk to All them. right, carry on. But, uh, I'll give you this back after. I will. Yeah? Okay, thanks. Cheers, to you. I had a chat with Tony, he's a good man. I told